Hello, hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center. And today we're going to discuss about the topic in would be typical configurations part 13. So BBU 3900 series configuration has two, two modes. One is the GL mode, another one is G times L base station. So now let's see what is the difference. The first difference is that this BBU board will be installed in a separate MPT mode. So what is the meaning of separate MPT mode? They have two types of UMP of the MPT board. So first is the GTMU. The second one is the UMPT card. So they have two MPT mode. So one will be taking care of the GSM mode. The second one, which is the UMPT card, will be taking care of the LTE mode. So that is the difference. So they have two main control boards. However, the second example is G times L, meaning it's a co-MPT mode. So the meaning of co-MPT mode is that they will have one main control board. So this is the main control board. It's only one configured here. And this control board will be in charge of both GSM and LTE mode. So that's the major difference. So let's go through the second example. And this is the similar situation, but a different technology here, different mode. So first one is UL. Second one is U times L. So the first scenario, as usual, it is similar to separate MPT mode. So as what I have mentioned earlier in the previous part, the separate MPT mode, that means you need two UMPT card. So you have two UMPT card. One will be in charge of the UMTS, which is 3G. The second one will be in charge of the LTE network. So two main control board. The second type of typical configuration is U times L. So this is known as a co-MPT mode. So co-MPT mode, you have one main control board. And this main control board will be in charge of both technology U times L. So that is the major difference. So let's go to the third type. This is a triple mode base station. So the first one, will have G U times L base station. So as usual, this is a separate MPT mode. So whereby for GTMU, it will in charge for GSM. UMPT will in charge of U times L. However, the second example is one UMPT card. This is one main control board. So this main control board will in charge of G U L. So this is a co-MPT mode. So we have three types of the configuration mode over here. Next, let's go through the E node B network topology. The E node B network topology is divided into three categories, star topology, tree topology, and the chain topology. This is the most common one used by most of the operators, okay? So let's see what is the advantages and why most operators choose the type 1. So the advantages of the star topology is that each of the E node B directly connects to the MME through the transport network. And this simple topology facilitates the engineering implementation, maintenance and capacity expansion. And you notice each node B directly exchanges the data with the MME. So they directly exchange the data with the MME and the signals transmitted through only several nodes. So it has a high network reliability. But the only disadvantage of this star topology is that it requires more transmission resources than other topologies. So let's compare with the chain and the tree. So chain and the tree, it is low in cost. Why? Because you don't need much transmission. So basically, you have one main E node B and you have the sub E node Bs over here. So the transmission wise or the engineering implementation and the link list are relatively low. But the disadvantages is that the signal will be transmitted through many nodes. It can get more complex. And the lower level, this is the lower level E node B. They have to depend on the higher level E node B. So the reliability of upper level will affect the operations of the lower level. So this is the disadvantage. 
Let's go through the CPRI base topology. So they also have four categories here, the star, the chain, intra-bot load sharing, and inter-bot load sharing topology. As usual, the star, for the star topology, the topology features the high reliability. So the faults in the RRU or optical fiber can affect only one sector because they are separate. So this is a simple topology that facilitates the installation and the maintenance. The only disadvantage is, is that it needs more transmission resources. Okay. So when I compare this with the chain, the cost is lower. Okay. The cost is lower because you only need one fiber, but others you just interconnect. However, cascading levels and the distance are limited in one RRU chain. And cascading between certain boards are not supported. Example, if I'm going to use LRFU, or L R R U cascading mode is not supported. So the cascading principles are the data of a lower level will be forwarded to the upper level and the physical bandwidth shouldn't exit the physical bandwidth of the CPR. So let's go through the load sharing topology. Intra bot means you use one LBP board, but you have two connection here. You have two connection of the CPRI towards one RRU. So example, if one link is down, so the other link will be workable. So this is intra bot load sharing. So the data will be transmitted to the link which is up. However, inter bot load sharing, meaning you have two LBPP bot and the two links are connected to different LBPP bot. But the disadvantages and advantages of this mode, okay, like the intra bot, if let's say this LBPP bot is down, the whole thing consider down, your data will be down, consider the uh, traffic will be impacted. However, if I'm using two LBPP bot, even though one LBPP bot is down, my data will be still transmitted to the next LBPP bot. So that is a backup over here in terms of the load sharing. So let's go through the ring topology. The ring topology, RRUs, RFUs and AAUs, they are connected to the UBBP or interface port to form a ring. The two CPRI ports on the bot function can act as a ring head or ring tail. So this is the first example, intra bot cold backup ring topology. So they have the first link and the second link. So they have three sectors over here. So one link is down, they still have a backup, another one. It form a rings. And the second type, inter bot cold backup ring topology, you have two LBPP bot. So one first link will go to the first RRU and first UBPP bot. And the second link will go to the second LBPP bot. And hot backup ring topology, you only use one RRU, but you are connected to two different BBP bots. So the CPRI link is also different. So these are the example of the ring topology. The advantages is this requires a high transmission reliability. However, the number of nodes and distance are limited in a link. So the LRRUs, if you're using an LRRU example, if using LRRU, it will work in different modes, but cannot be cascaded in the same link. So that is the disadvantage. So let's go through the typical configurations of the BTS 3900 series LTE. So the first example, they have 6 cell with 5 or 10 bandwidth 2T2R. So this is an example of the connection. The second example is 3 to 15 MAC and 20 MAC 2T2R. So they're only using three sectors here, but limited LRF use. The first one, you have a full house. The third example, three cells, 10, 5 MAC and 10 MAC, but they have no transmitters and receivers. The last example is 1 into 15 and 20 MAC, one cell, 40 and 4. So different configuration, they have different types of the installation or connection mode. So this one depends on the network operator on what mode, so how much is their traffic. So they have to evaluate all that before deciding what kind of configurations suitable for their network. So this is an example of DBS 3900 series, typical configuration of sector. In each sector, you have one cell. So they have three sectors. Each sector, you have one cell. This is indicating per cell. So cell one, cell two, and cell three, so they have three different, uh, same band in three different RRUs, 1.8 gig, 
and they are connected to LBBP. So this is the first thing. So this is using a star topology. You can see one port connected to one RRU. So this is the first one. This is the second one and this is the third one. So per sector you have one cell. So that's why we it's in a mode of 1 to 1 and 2 1. So that's all for this part. We have discussed about CPRI based topology. We also discuss about the typical configuration of a base station BTS 3900 series LTE and DBS 3900 series of LTE as well. So as usual, let's go through a quiz question. This is a multiple choice. Which of the following are E node B network topologies? The answer is A, C and D, star, tree and chain. Thank you. That's all from me. Have a nice day. Bye.